my friends. Yes, those of you that follow me on Facebook and Instagram will know already I've got myself another 911. Well, not a new one, a used one, an air-cooled one. This is the 993 generation. And yes, you should totally follow me on Instagram because I'm an avid photographer and not all my photos are of me naked. Well, most of them are. Anyway, back to this car. So, uh, I have been looking for a Porsche 993 generation, the air-cooled, last of the air-cooled generation, for years now. And I've had, I've had a specific one in mind that I've been looking for. Uh, and what is that car? Well, it's, first of all, the color. I've always wanted a dark green one, a, a forest green, uh, which are pretty rare, but they do come up in the 993s. Eh, I didn't make that happen with this car. This is dark blue. I guess still better than black, white, gray, silver. So happy with the color. Secondly, I wanted a gray interior one. Eh, didn't happen with this car either. Dark blue, which kind of matches with the outside, so that's fine. Next, I wanted a later model one, a 97 or 98. Eh, didn't happen again. I ended up with a 95. They made improvements as the years went on, but that's fine. I definitely wanted a coupe, not a cabriolet. <laughs> that didn't happen either. And I wanted low mileage, under 40,000 miles. <laughs> Once again, this one's got 140,000 miles, so pretty close, pretty close. And of course, I wanted a manual transmission, which that is the one thing I did get. I got the manual transmission, so perfect. And of course, I wanted one in excellent condition. <laughs> Once again, didn't quite make that happen either. Uh, this car's got bits of trim falling off it. One of the lights falls off the back. There's this thing dangling out the front. All the, all the, all the lights are all pitted, the, the paint is in terrible condition, it looks like the surface of the moon. Someone's put really cheap tyres on this car, two of the speakers are broken, uh, the leather's seen better days, it's got a hole in the leather here and this bolster looks like one of my ball sacks. And the roof, well I'm pretty sure it's not meant to do this. <laughs> so yes, she's not in perfect condition, but the good news about this car is the drivetrain is excellent. This car has had all its servicing and the gearbox, transmission, suspension and engine are all as tight as a rotisserie chicken. Yes, it is perfect from that point of view and that's all I really care about. The rest of it is all, eh, whatever. Uh, and I was originally had a budget for my 993 of between sixty dollars to $80,000 to get just the right one. Well, this one came along and it was in the 20s. So <laughs> I can spend that money getting this car back up to a reasonable state. Although I'm not sure that I'm going to bother because what I now realize is that I was looking for the wrong thing. If I'd got the perfect 993, I think I'd be scared to drive it because it would be perfect and I'd be worried about things breaking, I'd be worried about the dogs wrecking the leather, I'd be worried about it not staying perfect. By getting a beat to shit 993, I am enjoying this car much more than I ever expected. I haven't felt this way about a car since I was a teenager. That's right, when I got my first car, I was so excited about it that I'd go out to the garage and look at it at night. I would wake up early in the morning to go for a drive. Well, that's the way I'm feeling about this car. I had no idea. I mean, I, I knew a little bit. I've driven these cars, a lot of them on my channel, and each time I drive an air-cooled 911, I get this fuzzy feeling inside, like, oh my God, this is the real deal. This is, this, this is a thrill. But now that I've got one, I'm, oh my God, I absolutely, every, every excuse I have to drive this car, I'm out in it. And because it's already got a million miles on it, because it's already very tatty, it doesn't matter. I'm going to drive this every day. Uh, it is fantastic. So I've got to fix a few little things. Obviously that roof has to be fixed and a couple of the trim items, but I'm going to leave the paint tatty. I'm going to leave the leather tatty so that I'm happy to drive it every day and enjoy it. And I can't tell you how much I enjoy it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I can't really put my finger on it. Part of it is that I love the shape. I absolutely love the look of the 993. It is so pretty on the outside. And I love the interior of these classic 911s. Just so much more than the new ones. They're just, it's just the real deal for me. And I don't know whether it's my shape or size, but everything in this car just falls to hand perfectly for me. I just feel so comfortable driving this car. And of course, it being the manual transmission in the 993s is just such a perfect transmission for this car. Yeah, I just adore it. But then on top of that, it's the, it's the sounds and the smells. I don't know, the classic smell is something 
intoxicating and of course when the engine's running and I can hear that air called 3.6 from behind me it's great it's not too powerful it's just right I just oh, I, I love it I absolutely love this car I haven't felt this excited about a car for the longest time even even my brand new 911s sure I love them but you know anyone can buy a, a brand new 911 they're not that special they are a fun car but there's something really special about a classic 911 well to me anyway and I am <laughs> gushing I'm just oh my god I can't sleep at night so the only thing that I was a little bit not sure about with this car is that, that it's a cabriolet I never wanted a cabriolet car I'm not that I'm not a cabriolet type of person but I'm getting used to it it's it's fine it's fine I uh, I've always sort of associated cabriolets with the I guess the more lifestyle Porsche owners the people that have the Porsche branded clothing and put a big Porsche sign in there in, in their garage that those the, the, you know those type of people that really take owning a Porsche to the nth degree and tell everybody that they've got a Porsche I, I'm uncomfortable with that I don't want to be that type of Porsche owner um, but having a Cabriolet is fine I'm getting used to it it's good um, and I and I as I said I'm going to keep it mostly the same this car even has the original Porsche stereo in it uh, cassette stereo which is lucky because I have a bunch of cassettes that I can play in it you know Simple Minds Elton John Rolling Stones Bob Seger yep I'm not going to bother putting the brand new fancy Porsche stereo in it nah, no need this is part of the experience this car even has the CD stacker in the in the trunk I don't know whether it works because I don't own any CDs but I'll get online and I'll order some CDs for it and see if that works that would be awesome if the CD stacker works that would be the ultimate 90s experience playing CDs in my 90s Porsche 911 anyway some of you are probably wondering what about your other classic Porsche Nick the 928 that beautiful green 928 that we saw months ago and has never reappeared well I still own that car and is finally nearly ready um, yeah Dirk at Darien Detail has been grooming that car to the nth degree I've had a repaint on the front I've had the the leather redone uh, you know the, the whole point of that car was that the the previous owner had spent a lot of money on the electronics and the mechanics about $35,000 getting all of the running gear and the electronics perfect but then sold it to me and it was still looking very tatty so it was a bit of a mismatch so I wanted to spend a bit of money tidying up the paintwork and tidying up the interior so that it is a fairly well restored 928 and it being such a pretty color and it being a manual transmission and you know it's just a nice model it deserved a bit of money spent on it and of course I've only got a two car garage and like Jon Snow always says that's right I have three cars now I have to get rid of one so even though I've just spent all this money and love on the 928 it actually has to go because like a three-year-old child my attention is suddenly elsewhere that's right I'm suddenly totally in love with this 993 and so well I I'd love to own and drive the 928 a bit I, I can't afford to have three cars and I certainly don't want two old Porsches in my life so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna get it back do some videos on it and then sell it and how much will I sell it for I don't know I'm probably gonna lose money on that car and that's fine I don't mind um, I wanted it I wanted the next owner to get a good car and it's it was it's I think it's mechanically sound and electrically sound and now it looks pretty as well so I put it on the market I paid 36 for it I probably put another 8 to 10 grand into it so I'd like to get something in the 40s but maybe I won't maybe I will it doesn't matter um, yeah it's going to be a very pretty car and, and some lucky person is going to get that car so I'm going to I'm going to put it on the market in the next couple of weeks and we'll see how much we get for the 928 and then I can focus my attention on my beat to shit 993 anyway it's good to have a rear-engined Porsche again and maybe it suits me more because you know I'm getting up there in age and you know maybe a classic 911 is perfect for me I don't know yeah I, I'm so happy with this car I am having trouble sleeping it's so cool anyway I'm gonna take the dogs for a spin now because I haven't driven it in half an hour and uh, hopefully many more videos about this very beat up little 911 coming your way anyway Thanks for watching everybody, thanks for supporting my channel as always, go and, sub go and check out my Instagram if you haven't and uh, we'll see you in the next one, bye then.
And if you're wondering where to acquire the ridiculous t-shirts that I wear in my videos, they're all here in my store, all your favourites, uh, including offensive stamps and my rapid dry towels as well. Yes, Nick Murray t-shirts, being a little inappropriate since 2016.